See, we're going to make a wood gas stove. Comes apart. I put a wing nut on the base here, so if you want to and you're packing it, you can take the, the stand off. This is the paint, paint can lid. I just used the Dremel tool for drilling these holes. I'm not sure what size that is, it just picked what looked like a good size to me. So go, what to do, drill a bunch a series of holes around here. And so there's the holes around here. Okay, I've got a hole in the can. It's uh, could be a little more round. Recommend taking time to do it. Oh, uh, the reason about these cans rather than pop can is the height. There's one height, one size higher yet, but that's, I, I feel that's too high. I found wood gas stove. There's a limit how high they can be. Um, I want this height for the length to burn. Okay, what we're going to do with this edge now is take anything that's fairly sturdy and round punch, figure maybe. Let's start working around this sorry, working around this edge. Series of holes. Ah, so there is down right about there. I right, measured not well part. measurements. But that's fine. Okay, now we're going to another set of holes. I'll just put them in the bottom. I do the first two. They don't have to be. They can be on the side. And they don't have to be accurate or anything. They'll roughly go for the same number of holes. Nice circle for this one. Um, 
you want to get a fairly good fit around here. I put JB weld on this one. Time will tell. I've only burnt a couple of fires in it yet. Time will tell if the JB weld will take the heat. Back. In the lip of this circle, work it upwards. See this edge is starting to curl up a bit. Check it fairly regularly against your camera. Let's see how you make it out. It's getting pretty close already. Don't put it in yet. that are on the poplar trees or spruce trees. Hardwood's best, spruce works okay, fine. Um, you can't stand while your fingers are too big. Size of pencil. Just fill it up. And tamp it every so often. Get really snug. Wood has to be very dry, that's one thing. No, on a windscreen. All I did, took another can, cut it down the seam, and I bent the uh, edges in so it would be sharp. And it just slips over top of the <sighs> top of the stove. The pot's going to sit on top of here. Blocks the wind so it doesn't blow out. Point this side towards the wind. I found it's better to keep a bit of space between the pot and the, and the screen, depending upon how windy it is, how moist the wood is actually too. You'll be able to tell to play around with it. What I normally use, use before is quite a bit looser so you can adjust it up and down a bit while you're cooking. If it's calm out, it burns better with the colder down. We're just getting near the top. Just it's pay to, uh, it makes sense to go to a little bit smaller wood to last a little bit of fill. To normally light it, I use barbecue lighter fluid as a, as a rule. Just a, a few drops doesn't take very much. Use alcohol. You know, I was certainly using diesel fuel because it's very tannic for the wood stove. But uh, right now I guess we'll, we'll try doing it 
Brother Nature's right, just right, right, right piece of wood. Shavings for jacking. Yep, you're using barbecue layer fluid. It's just uh, actually a small container. Like the original had locked the ice or something in it. So you don't need to take very much long. Really just a few drips, just the first two or three pieces of wood on the top is all you want to put any on. Paper and stuff like that doesn't work with the darn. Because your paper doesn't work there as a darn plate any fire, but I think there's a whole bunch of ashes on top to smother everything. You want to be lighting the fire from the top. The fire burns from the top of the wood going down. It doesn't burn from the bottom going up like a normal fire. Like that for about 20 minutes, half an hour. Some smoke coming off, sir. I'm burning it right in the house right now. I can't even smell it. My concept of testing a stove is to test it cooking food. Many, st many stoves will boil water in two minutes or whatever and still be of no use to your cooking. sometimes but it's not what the fire is the fire is the gases coming in these holes that we drilled interior holes it could be called Through the course of burn, you've probably been gone about five minutes. Through the course of burn, 